All right, in this video, we're discussing creating class boundaries from class limits. So as we mentioned before, class limits are probably more user friendly for the general public, but class boundaries are more useful for creating things like a histogram or a graph for the data. So whenever we want to create a histogram from a frequency distribution that's using class limits, we want to convert those limits into class boundaries. Right? So if we didn't create the table ourselves, or if we created a table but we used a format that included class limits instead of class boundaries, then we probably want to convert those limits to boundaries before we create our histogram because we don't want little gaps between our bars of our histogram, right? So we got to have boundaries when we do those drawings. So here's the basic set of steps to accomplish that. It's pretty straightforward. You're going to subtract the first upper class limit from the second lower class limit. I'll show you what that looks like. It's very easy. Then divide the difference by two, and then you're going to use that result as the number that helps you generate all the class boundaries you need. And you do that by subtracting that value from all the lower class limits you had and adding that same value to all the upper class limits, and that will get it done. So let's look at an example and show how that's done. All right, so here is a simple frequency distribution. I've left off the frequencies, but I've given you a set of classes that are using class limits, and I want to convert them to class boundaries. So we have 20 to 29, 30 to 39, so on and so forth. So here's basically what we do. We're going to identify this diagonal. That's the first upper class limit and the second lower class limit. And we're going to subtract those two values. So in other words, we're just going to say 30 minus 29. And when we're done, we get the value 1. Now, that's our first step accomplished. Our second step is to divide that result by 2. So we're just going to do 1 divided by 2, which gives you 0 0.50, or in other words, 0 0.5. Now, once we have this value, we use it to generate all the boundaries. And the way we do that is we subtract this number from all the lower class limits. And that'll give us all our lower class boundaries. So if I take 20 and I take a half away from 20, I get 19 and a half. And if I take it away from 30, I get 29 and a half. And then 39 and a half when I take it away from 40. So if I take 50 and subtract a half, I get 49.5. If I take 60 and subtract a half, I get 59.5. Okay, so those are the lower class boundaries. To get the upper class boundaries, I take that same number, that 0 0.5 number, and I add it to all the upper class limits. So I'll get 29.5. 39.5, 49.5, 59 59.5, and finally 69.5. And now you can see that we no longer have gaps, right? Where this guy ends is where this class begins, right? And the gaps are gone, and we now have suitable boundaries that we can create a histogram with. 